So my beautiful people, I am back with another Elden Ring video. And do you guys remember the big white dragon we farmed for the three runes? 40, 50k three runes in about two or three minutes of work? Well guys, what if I told you there's a way of farming this dragon indefinitely? That means new players, new game plus players can come here, come to this spot and farm this dragon over and over again, earning infinite amounts of runes. How's it going guys? My name's DPJ and if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like it really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so this big white dragon, I'm pretty sure most players, people watching this have farmed this dude, well not farmed him, but killed him already and got that three stack of runes. I mean, we all did this. Now, a video was uploaded by a guy called Kibbles, which is a great video, I'll link it down below. Um, he showcases this and it's he says a uh, new game plus player should really use this but in my opinion this would be much much better for new players brand new players to this game and players that are between the level 20 and 80 maybe you can come here do this over and over guys and earn unlimited amounts of runes it's pretty simple it's pretty easy and this is what you got to do so basically with a weapon a, a weapon i suggest you this is for basically the new players that are the uh, medium level players get a weapon with that blood loss build up on it there's a great katan you can get out of a cave right here on the map guys the cave is called the death touch catacombs just follow the quick route i take into this cave now let's run in here guys grab this and run back out it is that simple then as a new player you just want to come east across the map to this grace point right here guys the fourth for off Activate this grace point and you'll notice right in front of you there is a massive white dragon. A massive white dragon. From here guys, all you gotta do is just kill the dragon. Now it will take a... Well, if you're a new player, it'll take you quite a while to so kill him. Probably between 3 and 5 minutes. But if you got that blood loss build up weapon on guys, you'll notice after about 20 to 25 hits, you'll get a massive chunk of his health come off. And you just want to rinse and repeat this till he dies guys. Now, as soon as you see him die, what I was actually doing was, guys, I was getting his health down real low, uh, jumping on my horse, because you can still get their blood loss build up and that nice chunk of health come off him if you hit him while you're on your horse. So I was just getting him down low, jumping on my horse, finishing him off on my horse, and then as soon as I saw the animation of him dying, I ran straight back to that grace point. Now, if you're quick enough, guys, you sit down, You'll still get your runes, but when you stand back up out of the grace, you'll notice that a dragon is there for you to kill again. Now, if you've got other means of doing mass amounts of damage, you'll kill this guy much, much quicker, making it more efficient on yourself. But me personally, I think this is a better farm for newer players to the game because we know there's areas like the Mugwin Palace, which has that crazy hill. And if you've already beat the game, a new game plus player will have the uh, Alden Beast Remembrance. Take that two, two fingers within... Uh, the round table and you'll get the sacred relic sword level it up a bit go back to that hill and you're taking out everything under hill within one swing and in new game plus it's double the runes it would just be much more efficient than here and i know it's new game plus you'll still have to do the white face valley quest line to get the pure blood knights medal to even fast travel across to the Margarine palace area but i still think it's it's just worth your time doing that rather than coming here and killing this dragon over and over but hey, it is up to you. You can do what you want. You can use this when you want, as long as the dragon is still there for you. What I will say is the character I'm using on screen now was actually a level 9 or 10 when I did this, guys. But it's a character I already had pre-made and I already explored a lot of the map with. So if it seems as though it's taken quite a while to actually uh, kill the dragon, it's probably as bad as it's going to get for even the new players. This is what it will be like. So even though it ain't that too bad, it's nowhere near as fast as people going into New Game Plus. Or medium to high level players could kill this dragon but yeah guys it really is as simple as that now obviously if you're going to do this and you're a average to high level player or a new game plus player the gold scarab is going to give you 20 percent increased runes so get this actual talisman guys and i'll link this in the video description a guide for this if you haven't got it yet and you want to get this thing get this thing guys pull it on and you are good also if you have any of the gold pickled fouled foot these you can actually craft and I'll put a guide to this in the video description too. These give you another increase in those runes. I think I believe with this and the actual gold scarab on at the same time, I think your buff is around 50 to 55% runes. So doing using both of these guys, 
and farm this dragon you'll get a ton more runes for sure but yeah a new player old player average player you can come here farm this dragon over and over again like i said come here lay down that damage as soon as he dies jump on your horse or be prepared already on your horse for when he dies take his last bit of life off on your horseback then as soon as you see that animation of him dying sprint peg it to that grace jump off your horse sit down when you stand back up you'll notice you'll have the runes and a dragon will be there for you to farm again simple easy plenty of runes early on plenty of runes early on in new game plus do what you gotta do guys and get those runes another thing to add as well if you do decide to do this guys and you kill the dragon you think you're slow to react and you ain't gonna make the grace point before he dies and um, the best thing you can do guys is quickly pull up your map and fast travel as fast as you can to the nearest grace point but the four off off one is obviously going to be the nearest one but if your just instincts take you somewhere else click on the grace point and travel there as fast as you can supposedly quitting out your game hard resetting your xbox pulling the cable out doesn't work the game just registers that he's died the only way to avoid him not dying and disappearing so he can do this farm over and over is to quickly fast travel back to that grace before he does vanish so keep that in mind guys again a uh, shout out to kibbles i believe he's the original uploader of this his channel will be found linked down below also credit to my pal my life crisis who showed me how to do this so yes credit to both of them channels will be found linked down below and well guys it is as easy what i may do is i may actually create a new character do what i gotta do and see how quick i can actually get across here and farm this dude and see how quick i can earn those runes easy as that that video may come see how it goes Guys, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, it really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more out of the ring, be sure to subscribe and hopefully, people, I will see you on that next one.